Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad, and today I'm going to be cooking one of these Hormel peppercorn flavored pork loins in my big green egg. And I have a large big green egg, so it's a little too big to cook something this small uh, without wasting charcoal. So today I'm gonna to be using the turbo stream. You see I already have the ring installed here between the fire ring and the fire box that holds the rest of the system in place. And today I'm gonna to be using the firebox divider plate. So I'm gonna just slide it down in here. And this allows me to divide where I only use one side of charcoal. So I use half the amount of charcoal that I would usually use. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some charcoal put in here using probably Fogo, which is my favorite lump. And then I will show you what else I do to get started. All right, so I added lump to my one side with my divider in here. And I put some of my old in with some new lump too. I always like to add a little bit of new lump to help get it started a little bit better. And the last time I ordered Fogo, uh, they sent me these Fogo all natural uh, Fogo starters. They look like little tumbleweeds and it's a little different than the last set that they sent me. I think the last set was kind of a test batch that had some wax in it, but this looks to be just some type of pine shaving. So I put one of those down in my lump and I'm gonna give it a light here. If I can get my stick lighter to light. And I always like to toss a little bit of lump on top of it to give it something fresh to light. And I'm gonna let my fire get good and started now. So when I start, I like to start with my vents completely open on the top and the bottom. And that gets me a nice and good airflow and lets the egg start doing what it does best is flowing the air up through the vent, through the lump, and out the top vent. That's how the airflow works on a big green egg. So I'll leave it like this for five or 10 minutes and come back and check on it. All right, so you can see we're slowly approaching 400 and I'm gonna go ahead and put our pork loin on. I went ahead and opened the packaging and I'm gonna go straight from the packaging to the egg instead of dirtying up a tool. So you can see our coals are nice and hot, got a good flame going there. I'm going to go ahead and put the pork loin down on that side of my egg on my stainless steel grate. And I'm gonna close it down and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my vents a little bit. So I know that 400 on my egg is about there on the top and somewhere around here on the bottom but I will watch it since I'm only using a half a basket and this is my first time trying this method. I'll watch it closely to see if I need to open my grates up anymore uh, to keep my temperatures around the 400 degrees mark. It's been about eight minutes and I actually like to flip my tenderloin every seven or eight minutes. You can see that I've added my meter probe here in the back end of my tenderloin. Uh, it goes in this dock. If you haven't looked it up yet, uh, check out meter and uh, it's a completely wireless system that syncs up with an iPad. But I'm going to go ahead and flip over this tenderloin. You can see I got pretty good color on this side already. So before I flip it again, I may actually move it to this side to the indirect after I get the coloring I want on all sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and let it keep cooking. So my green egg is on my back porch and with the meter system, I can have an iPad as long as it's within Bluetooth range uh, inside my house. And you can see that I can set my target temperature, which I have set at 145 for pork. I can adjust that as needed. Uh, I have the internal temperature showing here that the meter device is reading. And I have the ambient temperature at the grill grate showing right here. So if I wanna monitor that, I can. Uh, it's also graphing all of this on the back end on a different screen. It shows that I have about 15 minutes remaining, which is actually pretty close uh, to what I usually time my pork loin cooks. Uh, down here I can set alerts. Uh, the current alert is showing me five minutes before the cook ends, so it estimates when the meat will be five minutes before being done and sends an uh, alarm to my device. Uh, I can also set different types of alerts. One of the alerts I like to set when I'm doing a low and slow Boston butt cook is about 165 or 170 when I expect the stall to hit. Uh, if I'm on track with my timing, uh, then I let it ride usually. But if I need to speed it up and I want to foil it, then it lets me know when the stall is about to hit and I can kind of track my stall and know if I need to wrap or not. Uh, 
not only does the meter sync up to a device within Bluetooth range, but there's also a cloud that will allow you, if you have an iPhone, to sync to your iPhone as well. So I can go to the store and still keep an eye on my temperatures when I'm doing those low and slow cooks. All right, we are now around the 15 minute mark and it's time to flip the pork loin again. Sometimes I have a tendency to stick. I'm gonna try to rock it up on its side and let it sit this time to get some color on the sides as well. And you can see it's getting a beautiful color on the sides that have been down. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it over the coals. I may actually flip at about four minutes this time and then move it to the other side to finish the cook. We're now approaching the 20 minute mark. So I have one more side to get a sear on. I'm gonna do this one for three minutes because we're getting close to our temperature internally and we'll see where we're at. All right, we hit our target temperature of 145 internal. I'm going to set it on this cutting board. I always use one that has a juice groove when I'm doing pork loin because it's super juicy. Another feature of the meter that I like is it automatically calculates your rest time. So right now my meat is resting. You can see it continued to go up in temperature, which is normal. That's going to be a little bit over medium, but I like it that way and it's perfect for us. So we will wait till it's done resting and then we'll cut it up. And this is the finished product of the pork loin. You can see the hole in it is from where the meter probe was inside. It wasn't quite in the middle, which is why I was getting a little bit higher readings than I expected. But everything is delicious and juicy and perfect. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see other big green egg videos, you can click any of them showing on the screen now or search my channel for BGE and they'll all pop up. I hope you guys have a great day.